My name is Herbert Miller, and uh, first time I saw Father Capon was when I was laying in a ditch, wounded. Well, Herbert Miller was a, a man that was in Father Capon's unit, um, and he and uh, other men were, were trying to escape or trying to make it back to, to safety. This soldier come down through and he stood over and he's going to shoot me. He had the gun pointed at my head. And he said he just closed his eyes and he said he knew that the next thing that he was going to feel was a bullet going into his head. I looked and this American come across the road. And he said he saw an American soldier pushing this North Korean out of the way. It was Father Capon. He pushed the man aside. Why that soldier never shot him, I'll never know. Army Chaplain Amel Capon will posthumously receive the Medal of Honor for his acts of valor during the Korean War. I think if he were asked whether or not he wanted this award, he would probably say, heck no, that, that he, he didn't deserve the award. He'd be humbled. He'd, he'd, he'd tell you point blank, I don't deserve it. But he, that's the kind of person he was. But the men that were in the prison camp have been working for this Father Capon to receive this award, literally from the time they got out of the prison camp. I wonder why it took so long. The man should have got it right off the bat for the things he did. From the stories shared by his fellow soldiers to the memorials at the church where his sermons began, Chaplain Capon's selfless service is eternal. He was there in the prison camp for about six or seven months before he passed away. Two and a half years later, when the rest of the men were, were freed from the prison camp, they were still speaking of Father Capon and how he had touched their lives. How could you forget somebody that saved your life? I was looking right up the barrel of that gun. He was known as a soldier's chaplain. He wasn't above us. He was one of us. But uh, we found out later that he died and we knew they killed him.